two little target goals you can see behind us and then there's an end zone in here okay you can have two teams <coughs> here as red and blue you're not gonna get bibbed up because it doesn't matter so one defender start off with which is red which is important okay so the blue attackers aim is to get from there inside the zone so you have to get inside this zone before you score this guy then if we score if you can grab the ball because it's gone out fine if it goes in the goal leave it but if you can grab the ball you're then going to come back down to your team this is where it gets tricky as soon as this guy's taken his shot off now whether he scores or it goes out of play he now has to react and become as a defender because the red team are now going to try and score in that goal if Alfie wins it for him to score a goal he's got to drive the ball into the yellow box however also if one of you are clever enough he can also pass the ball into the box by one of you dropping in here so you leave your ball Callum and you drop in play <laughs> now you've got to recover Alfie a very very high tempo is high demanding on them but again fantastic that they they know when to accelerate and exploit space and when they have to actually maybe slow the game down and, and, and you need a trick to beat a player. Defensively though, we've said that we need to get out. Yes, but also our defensive posture, we need to be side on, fantastic. And we're almost forced in one way. Now if they're score, going to shoot in this goal here, Jack dribble, brilliant, fantastic. Stop, which way am I going to show him? This way, it might be this way. Stop, I've screened that and I'm almost making sure I know which way he's going. So have a think of your body position and which way you're going to show them. It's gone off Dan, it's gone off Dan. Hold it there, relax. Another brilliant one on the defensive aspect there Dan. You knew that you couldn't press him didn't you? So where, where did your recovery run go to then? to the goal, didn't it? Because you knew that you weren't going to get there. Now, you can score in either goal. We'll run a little point system. So, two if you score diagonally, one if you score straight, five if you can win the ball and get it into here, whether it's a pass or a dribble. Go on, that page, can you beat him? Can we drive in for five? Yo, hold it there. That's a red card last man. Five points, Charlie, well done. With the diagonal, it, it worked extremely well, as I said, high tempo. And at the, at the end, we had a point system because especially at this age, they're all competing all the time. And, and Suja put a point system in. Everyone knows, not only do they know they're on the X amount of points, they know that he's on that points, he's on that. And it has a bit more competition in for him. So, and I think that, again, it flowed really, really well.